This is a WIAT 42 Storm Track Severe Weather Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater along with meteorologist Nate Harrington, and we still have a weather alert, which is an effect that will be through tonight into early on Wednesday morning. Now, here's what's going on across our area. We do not have any severe weather in Alabama yet, but it is extremely close. First off, let's talk about what we've got going on across uh, central Alabama. This is just rain. We don't even have any thunder and lightning mixed in with this, but this is all quickly tracking towards the north and east. Good downpour right now near Birmingham, but uh, there is nothing severe with any of this, and it is a uh, bit tropical outside. But I did want to show you this one particular thunderstorm. This is a massive tornado that's on the ground headed towards Scuba, Mississippi. And if you see, it's tracking right towards Scuba. And if it continues to hold together, which it likely will for a while, it will move into southern Pickens County and then eventually affect places like Aliceville. But if you look on the last few frames here, you'll see this whole thunderstorm is rotating. That's how big that tornado is. But on the last few frames, everything's going counterclockwise. And there is the tornado right there. So with that tracking towards the north and east, it will eventually be in Pickens County. We also have another tornado warning back into eastern Mississippi. That is going to pass just to the east of Columbus, clipping northwest Pickens County and into southern Lamar County. Now we have crews in place all across west Alabama. We are going to be going live with them as we join you at 5 o'clock for the uh, newscast, but uh, this obviously is a uh, situation we'll have to watch very carefully and we'll continue to. All of the counties you see highlighted in yellow in our viewing area, that is for a tornado watch until 10 o'clock tonight. This is the first wave of storms. We still have the main line back here to deal with. That will be into tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So right now our focus is on the tornado potential. As we get into 7, 8, 9 o'clock tonight, that will start to die down. Then we'll just look for strong straight line winds. Hopefully, these storms will lose some of their edge before they cross the state line. But at this juncture right now, it's a tough call, and I would bet offhand they will likely still have tornadoes with them. We're watching this very carefully. We're updating you on social media, and we will continue to throughout the course of the evening and into tonight. So you can join us on Twitter, Facebook, WIAT.com, and we are also doing live video updates periodically as well as here on TV. Again, this is a uh, interesting setup for our western counties. We just want you to be aware of what's going on. Not panic, but certainly have you prepared and have your weather radio available and good to go for later into the afternoon. We're going back to regular programming. We will join you if we start to see some of our counties are going to go under a tornado warning or they are issued. And we will certainly let you know as we uh, get that information in immediately. So along with Nate Harrington, I'm Mark Prater. We're live in the WIAT 42 Storm Track Weather Center. We now join Dr. Phil already in progress. This has been a WIAT 42 Storm Track Severe.